You, you can do it, Colin. Advanced Believe level in the technology. Tech. I, you know, Lucy, where is that? Just normal no YouTube. Normal Get YouTube. the link. Colin, I am a tech support. Don't panic. Don't panic. Who's panicking? I'm just reading the chat and I just laughed to myself at Pixel Music's Proto Sack Rat. Thank you for that. That's Thank amazing. You. Nice, come YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Let's Make Cool Stuff in the World of the Beat Iverse. I don't know. That's probably not the best name for the series, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll work it out in post. Today we are joined by the inimitable, inevitable Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. Nice, come. Nice, come. So today, we are celebrating 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. I can't believe it. Can you believe it, Lucy? No. Um, I I stayed up very late last night just to watch it tick over because um, I clearly have nothing better to do. But uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm very excited. Uh, yeah, the growth, it's great. And thanks, guys. Thank, thank you so much, everyone. The thanks are raining down upon all of you. I want to just make a little personal aside here. When we started this channel 11 months ago, and it's almost to the day, 11 months ago, I had no, no inclination that we would reach uh, this point so quickly. And I credit the amazing community, uh, both here on YouTube, here on Twitch, and in the Discord, by the way. I don't know if people know about the Discord, but it's there's a link down below. For the people who are supporting us on Patreon, uh, a, a huge and hearty thanks go out to all of you. Uh, your support is helping us stay in the game um, long enough so that we can uh, that we can get to these these amazing milestones like 2,000. So thank you again. And if you are the kind of person who would uh, like to join us there, there is also a link below. Okay, enough enough of that. Let's get down to business. What are we going to do, Lucy? We are going to make a writing system for Great. Pukwak. We're going to make a writing system for our language quack. And here's what I'm thinking. And I think we should really be guided by the chat here because I know we have some of the great minds behind the quack literary renaissance uh, with us here today. I think we should start off by evolving this system as it would have been, as it would have worked in an earlier stage of the language. So maybe um, proto Socrat B, maybe around that that stage and then we can we can evolve, evolve the system there have it work really well for proto sacrat b and then have it sort of get messed up by sound changes and and maybe we don't actually update it or we update it selectively or something like this so we get these nice little historical quirks that a lot of writing systems have <sighs> i think that was like a what do you think style question but i don't know I don't know. I, I I talked for a long time and I think I lost the plot of it. So, yeah. Shall we uh, shall we get started? I, it sounds like people agreed that it's a good idea, so we should go for it. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's scoot over and whoa, look at this. We have two screens here. We have one from Lucy and one from from our conlang with me season 2 Sakrat spreadsheet. So, the basic idea that I'm thinking of here is that we will take a an original logography. Um, so we ha we start out with um, we start out with graphemes uh, with units in the writing system that represent whole morphemes, and then from that we evolve either an alphabetic system or uh, a syllabary. So an alphabetic system will will be much like uh, the Roman alphabet in that uh, each letter. Each grapheme, which we can call a letter, represents a, a either a consonant or a vowel. In a syllabary, each grapheme represents a CV sequence or perhaps a larger, larger than CV sequence. I think for us, we may we may cap it at CV to make things manageable. And um, so I think our first step is to decide what we want, uh, what kind of physical constraints we want to subject this writing system to because the writing system will have been invented or developed in a time and a place where there's certain technological, um, there are certain materials available uh, with which to make a writing system. So that's our first decision. 
so if we are looking at the proto sacrat b as the as the rough vintage of this uh, writing system, I think we need to uh, think about where exactly in the world proto sacrat b is uh, spoken. And let me pull up a map. Excuse me for one second. I'm going to go over here while I open up Discord and get uh, get the map out. Michael Thash Mot Anis has made an amazing map here, which shows the migration of the Sakrat speaking peoples. Um, I think I just have to make sure I get the right one. Uh, yes. Okay. Apologies. There we go. Oops. That's the wrong. There we go. Aha. There we go. We can cut that little bit out. All right. So here is where we have the, I can put that up here. Sakrat B is going to have been spoken in this region here, which is a, um, which is if we go to the wiki, we can see the climate map, which is roughly a tropical, a tropical rainforest and tropical savanna uh, sort of biome in this region, in this region, in this, uh, the sea that separates these two continents. So given that Given that we're looking at a hot climate, what can we write on? What can, um, what indeed can we write on? And we're talking about a a language spoken roughly between you know let's say roughly fifteen hundred years before the present. Um, although our timelines are not going to be identical to to Earth timelines, if the present year is roughly seventeen hundred, so this is around two hundred. Um, this would be equivalent to our our, uh, the year 200. I guess uh, like papyrus, if it's hot, right? That's dried animal skins. Is that pa right? Pa no, papyrus is a plant. Oh, it's a plant. Oh, my bad. Uh, parchment. That's what I was looking for. Parchment. Yes, indeed. So Although either could work, really. So if we're looking at a plant-based um, substrate, then we're going to have to deal with the fact that it has a grain and it's going to be a lot easier to go one way than another. It's not quite as bad as carving into wood, but still there's going to be a certain amount of um, detail that is impossible. Fine turns of the, the, of the brush, perhaps, say if we're doing brush on papyrus, fine turns of that brush might be hard to see. Does this, does this mean it would be easier to do things that are angular rather than curved? Uh, I think, hmm. I've never actually tried to paint on papyrus, so I don't know. No, neither have I. Does anyone, has anyone tried? Chat? <laughs> if chat loads. Queen, that vowel is not quite accurate. It's, it's lower. It's like, ah, ah. And it's nasalized. All right. Yeah, so we got strong lines going in in the direction of the grain. So with that in mind, let's try and draw some. Let's try and draw some of our where is it? Our proto sacrat B words. So let's start off with very, um, with very concrete items, and let's go from there. So let's see we have see what we have. So there's, co there's coconut shells, Colin. There's coconut shells as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's how do probably... you, how do you write on a coconut shell? Well, I imagine you'd have to get rid of all the fluff. Okay. And then and it would be carve into you'd it. Carve. All right. Carve. So let's start off this way. Let's start off carving into a coconut shell. Yeah, it sounds good. Can we emulate that? Um. <laughs> well, I can. Uh... Like give it a go. All right. So why don't we make our first thing that we draw a coconut? Sure. Though so um, I have, um, I've got some sort of embossing thing that looks a bit carvy. What do you guys think? That looks great. There we go. Yeah, sharp carving. Okay. Yeah. So I am. I imagine do on a coconut shell doing anything curved would be really difficult. Um, I don't know if you'd have like a hammer and chisel or what do you, what do you think? Or just like a 
just a rock just like carving into it really that makes sense mm. um so it so it'll be a bit you know like this i'm gonna try to open up something in another chat so i can see the so i can see the what's it called the chat coming in so i'm just gonna i've got chat on my phone if that helps oh chat on the phone okay let's see if i can do that this is like advanced this is <laughs> advanced level you, you can do it colin advanced Believe level in the technology tech i you know is that in like the studio app or is that in youtube lucy where is that just no normal youtube normal get YouTube. the link colin i am your tech support don't panic don't panic who's panicking uh, i'm having a great time you often panic don't be silly i've never panicked i'll send in my you life. the link no I, <laughs> we have the link here Okay. Vent details. Go to the link. Look at this. This is great. We're having a good time. Yes. Everything is fine. <laughs> it's playing ads now. All right. All right. We're good. I don't need to, I don't need to send money internationally <laughs> right now. That's fine. Okay. Here we maybe, go. Maybe late. Oh, dear. Now it's very meta because I can hear myself. Okay. There. I see the chat. <gasps> Look at this. Maybe this is an innovation we can use in the future. Yes, maybe. <laughs> we need to do a super cut of me struggling with uh, technology. Yeah, I think I, I should really make it a short, to be honest, because there's a lot of footage. <laughs> it could be a series. <laughs> okay. Look at this. I, I see the chat down here. I see the Twitch chat over here. What more could you ask for? All right. So where were we? We were, <laughs> we'll probably have to cut all of that out, Lucy, but we are drawing on a coconut. And we're drawing a coconut on a coconut. Yes, coconut on a coconut. So I'm thinking if I were chiseling into a coconut, I'd probably be drawing it kind of bit by bit. Do you, do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So perhaps to make it simple. So imagine I'm chiseling, chiseling away, but we wouldn't be trying to get a perfect circle. What do you guys think? That's cool. It's like that symbol that people always put on merchandise that they're trying to associate with Zen, you know, you know, that one. Yeah. 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 The true Zen coconut. And do we want to put like those little, okay. So I don't, are there holes in the coconut? Like the little, or is that a bowling ball? There you go. Uh, is that an orange? <laughs> Colin reveals that he's never actually seen a coconut before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so why don't we try three different versions of coconut and then we can see which which variant the chat likes the best sure okay um i mean if you you know the way we see it see it in the i guess if you get one in the supermarket or something they will like cut nicely mm -hmm. but I, they come from a tree, I assume. So perhaps there's a some sort of branch. Um, perhaps. What do you guys? Think? <laughs> this is like the two most northern hemisphere people. Um, north, northern, 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 from the north end of the north end. Um, Too much. Yeah. Pretty much. That's pathetic. Okay, so the, the inside would probably work better. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Thanks to several people in the chat. Okay, well, we're drawing. I mean, I could just. Uh. Ooh, <laughs> spiffy. And then. Hold up. What do you guys think? Galactic Sand says that it's a Looney Tunes thing. I'm assuming the little dots in the coconut. <laughs> That's amazing. Lucy, what if we had a version that was more angular? Because, say, it's being made with a chisel. And the person doesn't mm -hmm. want to take all day to do it. Perhaps. Mm hmm. Or even. Um, and it reminds we... me of you, you know uh, the. Um, like the kan I quite like that actually. It reminds me of the kanji for mouth. You know when you do. Excuse for everyone who actually writes in Chinese characters or kanji, I apologize. But you know what I mean? Like that's mouth, but it's like a, like a square squiggle thing. Mm -hmm. What if we had um, a, I, a, a I vertical like grain? 
How would we adapt them for a vertical grain? Hmm. It would be hard to do anything horizontally. Um, yeah, you'd probably want to make your horizontal strokes short. Yeah. I really like the last one I just did, I think, mm -hmm. visually. Um, so it would probably... Queen says it's, probably... it's rude of you to call it a square squiggle thing. I'm sorry. It's beautiful. It's my favorite square squiggle, okay? <laughs> Does that appease you, Queen? Um... So essentially, as Galactic Sand mentions in the chat, verticals and diagonals. And diagonals. So essentially yeah. rooms. Gotcha. So it would kind of... Well, that, that one sort of applies as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So why don't we take that, that last one that you made as the... Yeah, I, I'm going to get rid of this one. I prefer... Um, as our prototype I, I like for the, the coconut. Yeah, I like it. The what coconut grapheme. And for those who are... Um, well, I guess everyone's watching this. So <laughs> for those who are just listening to this, who's just listening to this? Eh, maybe if you're off making dinner. Um, Dud is the word for coconut in uh, proto Socrat B. I think visually, it looks like what it sounds like to me. Dude. I don't know if anyone agrees, but I get that vibe. So okay, let's <laughs> let's put that let's take that and put it off to the side. And can we write D U D beside it? Uh, we can. Should I get rid of the others? Yeah, let's get rid of the others for now, because we're gonna take. We're. I think what we'll do is we'll make like five or six of these, and then um, see what the overall look uh, comes out to. So is do it just D U D mm -hmm. or D O O. No, D U D. D U D. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, next, let's do flower. Lovely. Okay. So what kind of flowers do they have? That's the question. That is the question. Because I could very well, you know, if I'm drawing a flower, you know, whatever. That's the traditional flower of my people. No. Um, but what kind of flowers would they have there? Which is why... Which was it would make more sense. To Galactic do. sense so is I, hibiscus. I don't know what that looks like. I well, do not. Let's have find out. Knowledge. Let's find out. Show me, Colin. Show me the way. All right. So, hibiscus. Um, now how do I show this to you, Lucy? That's a hibiscus. Image. Oh, oh, pretty. Oh, you can you so see? Oh, you can see the stream. I can. Yeah, I'm looking at YouTube. I thought ahead. Um, Interesting. So it's got, so it's a. Situation. Mm -hmm. So how do you write and that on the inside of a dude? On the inside of a dude. Well, I really, I like the long bit. So let's make it more angular. So we definitely want that. something like that it looks like something from the jetsons <laughs> it does what if um, i like uh, what if you make a big x for the outside of the um for the outside of the petals and then a vertical line that goes up with two angular do you know what i mean you talk about do you mean that no but that's cool um, I meant that a, a big X at the bottom and then a vertical line going up from the middle of that X and then off of that vertical line, two little angular, like you have. It's very similar to what you have, actually. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Well, that's okay. We, we are about half an hour into the stream. Quarter of the way down, three quarters to go. Yeah, I'm not. Hang on, hang on. Let's let's rethink this. Let's rethink this. Uh, do, you want, do you want another picture of a hibiscus? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we need a different. To send a message, they toss the coconut with the writing in it at someone else. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, because yeah, it could be side on, perhaps. 
Um, I'm trying not to imagine like kanji stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Even though they, someone correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that flower like the radical? Officially, Maybe. we're not allowed to say. Okay. Legally, we're not allowed to say, but. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. So I've sort of nicked it anyway, so they have the same idea. So a lot of them it's like front on, but I do like the side on. So maybe it's more like a, um, I don't know. Mm. Or something, or what do you guys think? Pixel Music says, why not try a bellflower? A bellflower? Bell Hmm. Maybe I'm getting too fixated on this middle situation. Look at this, Lucy. Oh, no. Ooh. No. Those are pretty. Hmm. It's really difficult to make it super min minimal. The triangle one. Oh, you like the triangle one? The last one I drew? Yeah, let's, why don't we run with that and let's just make that that big horizontal, a little less horizontal, or a little, a little less big. Yeah. Something like that. That's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. What do you guys think? How about that chat? Okay. Oh, we're getting a lot of love. We're getting okay. a lot of love. Okay. Right. It's staying. It's staying. It does have a kanji vibe. No one say anything. All right, so, so that's Lupit in Proto Sakrat and Lupit in Proto Sakrat B. How do we? How do I spell that? Uh, just you can do L U P I T. Because at this point, um, it's close enough. We still have all the information carried on that syllable. It's just not Lu anymore. It's Lu, but okay. Lu. All right. <laughs> Just accept it. Either we get kanji or hieroglyphics. <laughs> eh. Fair. <laughs> okay. So we have dude, lupit. Let's do something else. Let's get... Um, <laughs> we could do nakri, which is a, a river, a navigable river or a path. Mm. So are there any... Have we done any famous rivers yet in our world? Uh, we haven't done a ton on rivers. Interesting. I remember we drew some on the map. We drew some on the map, but we haven't talked a lot about rivers. Mm. Okay. We're getting a lot of requests in for boat slash house. So we are... Let's... That was the same thing, wasn't it? Yes. It was so the same word. let's quickly, yep. let's just quickly do river slash path, nakri. And then we'll river go on to, to house slash boat. Okay. So the, so the big thing about a nakri is that it's navigable. So it's a word that's used for a path or a river that you can sail in. Okay. So what comes to mind is something that is that sort of sections off, uh, like splits or something. Or... Maybe. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe, could you give us like three variations of that? Sure. So we don't want anything curved. We're going for not curved. Um, uh, from ship, a bit more vertical, maybe? A bit more vertical. Or... at that or ooh what do you guys what do you guys think i really like that um i really like that that last one you did there's just something kind mm -hmm. of it's it's dynamic but at the same time it's balanced okay yep i think that's our nakri okay let's go 
Why the others? Oh, did I just? There we go. Um, how do you spell Na uh, N A K R I? Yeah, we'll just do Proto Sakrat forms because they're easier to write. Sure. Great. Okay. Now our next one is Mot, which means ship, boat, or house. It is. It's a very broad word. Mm, cause, cause the uh, sea people. Exactly. So, do their ships have sails? Oh, oh, be diverse anthropologists. Do their ships have sails, or are should or we use these rows? Should row we boats. use the the house as its as the basic form? Because if we remember where they come from, they come from a coastal area on the mountainside. Hmm, so would it be windy? No sails. Some say yes, some say no. Um, the thing with a sail, if it means house or boat, then a roof could also be, a, you know, they could look like the same, you know, they could represent the same thing, a roof or a sail. Mm -hmm. Especially if they have those kinds of houses that go out into the sea, you know, those thick, thick stilt houses. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's appropriate for where they're from. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, some people are saying rowboat, but I wonder if it's easier to. Um. That looks like a perspective of like a tennis goal post. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and um... just to uh, to answer a question from the chat, we're writing the names in, in proto Sakrat because it's easier. It's easier to spell. I don't have to make Lucy do schwa's and things like that. Yeah, please don't make me do schwa's. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, volleyball court, it does. Oh, would be the most basic. This is really cool. Jack just, uh, Jack Wren just suggested something like, I don't know if you can see, like a, an up chevron for the roof, mm -hmm. a, a, a down chevron that's more flat for the bottom and a vertical line in the middle for a person. That's a bit like a little... Hmm. Maybe double line. Yeah. It, this, is, this is turning a bit kanji. Like, tell me if it's too kanji. I don't mind that. Oh, okay. Um. Maybe one thing we can do to make it less kanji i don't know if this makes it less or more kanji like is to introduce like mandatory asymmetry mm. actually i think that makes it more kanji like right. doesn't it mm, it might do actually what do you guys think you just created care <laughs> i think i did um hmm. which what do we think do we like the asymmetrical Symmetrical one, ship likes. Okay, so then let's let's say mandatory mandatory symmetry to get rid of the uh, conjugation. Sure, though the others don't have symmetry. It's not mandatory symmetry that everything has to be symmetrical, but if you're kind of close, you have to do it. Okay, I do enjoy the last one I drew, just with that extra blob on top. It just really does look kind of like a Chinese character. Should I do the first one then? Yeah. Alrighty. So this this guy. That's the one. This guy is, this guy's coming with us. Okay. Goodbye, rest. Okay. And that is ship or house. Right, so mot. M O T. M O T. Alright. Lovely. Let's do another one. Let's see what else we have. Let's do a different a different initial letter. So essentially the way I'm envisioning this going is that we 
use the principle of acrophony to make this into an alphabet, or we use the principle of take the first consonant vowel sequence and turn it into a syllabary. Uh, right, so. Well, you know I like syllables. Bawur. No bias. Ah, <laughs> bawur. Ray, dart, arrow. So some sort of a projectile. Ooh. Ray. Ray is in sun ray. No, I mean, bawur is the name of the word and ray, dart, or arrow is the, the meaning. Interesting. Did I miss it? Because the word ray is also the word for sun in this language. <laughs> That's why I wanted to be sure. Ah, okay, okay. okay. We should also do that Let's one too. See. Interesting. So are there any, has anyone thought about what their weaponry looks like at all? that's the case i think fundamentally Dark, you're always going to want to have a pointy end yeah and then you want to what you want to do is direct that pointy end into the uh, enemy uh, i mean i'm not a i'm not a military tactician but that's my general understanding of the, <laughs> of the situation yeah i mean so we could uh so Who's fighting with who? If there are, in, if there is any fighting, well, I'd imagine everyone's space. fighting with everyone at some point or another. Okay, so if they're by the ocean, are they fighting? Are they fighting with the people in the mountains? Well, if so does the arrow point upwards? Ooh, point that up, arrow upwards. Um. Okay. So, is that one of the zodiac symbols? You know what it could be. Who who even knows? Um, that's cute. What do you guys think? Um, it looks a bit similar to Mo. Mm, it does. Um, I do like the triangle though. Mm -hmm. I like the triangle vibe of this script in general. Hmm. Excellent. Okay. The sidewaysness. Yes, I enjoy the sidewaysness too. Um. Maybe something like that. Perhaps. It's got action lines. <laughs> Looks like a broken arrow. Hmm. A little bit. Yeah. That's a good song. Uh. <laughs> Um, I'm copying something that Pixel Music just drew, <laughs> but not in ASCII. Oh, um, fantastic. Look, Momentum, maybe? That's kind of fun. Hang on. Ah, Salve te la retus. Some new friends from the... Uh from Luke's channel. Welcome. Ah, oh, that reward. was Latin, wasn't it? That was. Salwete, everyone. Salwete. Uh, all I know in Latin is like, canis est in horto. Uh, yep, that's it. Cool. Sorry. It's a, <laughs> oh, it's a great place to be. Yeah, I, yep. Love a horto. Um, Translation for the chat, the dog is in the garden. Yep, yep. Oh, Marta est in tablino. Do you love my horrific anglicized pronunciation sorry there's a there's, sorry, a, Luke. there's <laughs> a no there's a proud tradition of using your 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 native phonology to pronounce latin people did it all over europe for hundreds of years all right yeah so, we at school they really it was it was very anglicized quite funny i've even heard some um, some historically informed christmas carols in which they say things like venite adoremus which, oh, really? Yes, and such is life. All right, so what are... Where where, where are we with this? Ah, uh, Daniela, I like... thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Um, right, so I my preference is the top one because I like action lines because I'm an animator. <laughs> That's my reasoning. What do you... What does the chat think? Here's the last two would be great, as in the bottom two. Yeah, there was also that last one, but I wonder if it looks more leafy. 
Top one looks thrown. Yeah, I, I, I like the top one. Shall we, shall we go for the top one? All right, let's go for the top one. Okay. Bye, the rest. And, and we'll subject these to a second um, a second round of, of revisions. Um, but yeah, yeah, we can, we can always go through. Um, what's the word for this? This is Bawur. B-A-W-U-R. Apologies for my handwriting. It's uh, unreadable, as always. All right, let's continue. You say uh, B A W U R. Yes, please. Okay. Here we go. All right. Then we have. Oh, perhaps the glyph for spear is the same, but without the action lines. Yeah, I like that. Is there a word for spear? No. So. Okay. We will get. We'll have to come up with one. Okay, let's get keep one. It in, keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. All right, let's do one with G. Um. We don't have a ton of words with G, actually. No, really? No, we don't. Um, we have Ga, which is a word for Lord. Um, maybe we could use, let's use a, um, maybe a certain kind of headdress, like some sort of a, a head, some sort of headgear, some sort of a crown-like thing for the word for Lord. Interesting, okay. So, if that's the case, uh -oh. um, I just, sorry, I'm going to stop you there because we just got a lot of messages on Slack to do Girak instead. Win, victory, that's... conquer. Oh, that's fun. But it's hard because, because how I... do we, how do we show that? Well, I was going to say the headdress because it's a, it's a bird environment. The headdress mm -hmm. naturally would be full of feathers, right? Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. So the victory Feathers for victory also. Yeah. Or I we mean, can show like a person, an enemy with a, a spear or something like that in them. Well, that's, I wonder if that's a bit violence orientated. Uh, it's literally the word for conquer. I mean. Hmm. Fair. <laughs> um, to have won is to have taken the headdress from whom you've defeated. So it works. I mean, feathers um, will just... Okay, Galactic Sand has a great idea. Do a combined one with a headdress and a spear. Mm, okay. Interesting. Um, Echoed word says chicken feathers. Chicken feathers. Uh, what does a chicken feather look like? It's very triangular this writing system. I like it. Yeah, me too. I like triangles. Um, let's see. What about the feather pointing up and the spear pointing down? So you have this kind of one thing with all these up lines and another thing with down lines beside it. Hmm. Lucy, your talent is getting compliments in the chat. Oh. Chats. Uh, that looks like a fish bone. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. That's a, that's a thought because I feel like fish is going to be quite important. Um, so. Oh, that looks very much like a, a feather. That's quite feathery, isn't it? Mm hmm. And then can you put a fish? Uh, why did I say fish? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, could you put a spear beside it, like pointing down? Oh. I kind of like this. Yeah, I like that. I like that too. Could we put the spear on the other side? I don't know why. Yeah. I just see. Um, I just see it on the other side. It's just my vision, my creative vision. Okay, okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Queen just <laughs> wrote, can you put a fish? <laughs> uh, look at that. I like that. 
Girak. Yeah, if I let me just redraw it with a. So where have I done here? I did a kind of a dud. And a oops, that's a bit harsh. And a whoop. And a bit of these guys. Does it look better that way? What's the difference? I think the curve of the spear. I don't think we can curve that easily. Well, it, it, true, but it, it, I just, I prefer that. You see what I mean? There's still an intent, you know, it's that versus that. Mm. Do you know uh, what I mean? There's may, a... may it live, may it love, it has my blessing. Okay, what do you guys think? I like it straight. Of course you like it the other way, Queen, whatever I've done. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, I like that one down there for fish, though. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. Let's fish? let's use that for fish because we need a word for fish. Alrighty, um, saving the fishy. Oh, I wonder. Do you think I should? Oh no. Um, maybe we should flip it because mm -hmm. there's a lot that side. So maybe it emphasizes that it's a fish. Yeah, so that's Kes. Kes, K E S. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are cute. I like this. Okay, so fish is Kes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, victory is Girak. G I R A K. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do one more and then we'll put in a break. Perfect. All right. So we need something for. Um, we need something for H. So we have Hanong, meaning young, Hirung, meaning old. Mm hard perhaps to draw humat meaning cut reminded that you don't have to strive for simplicity i see oh well though if you're drawing on the inside of a coconut mm, what are your thoughts colin i i'm i'm absolutely fine with having simplicity abandoned at the outset but then i think we're eventually going to have to to move in the direction of simplicity Mm. Shall we do, what do you think about cut? Can we do cut? Cut, as in, that's the humat. word. Humat is the word, meaning cut. So we, just, the word we, don't have, cut. we don't have that many words starting with H's, so humat seems like all we have. Mm. Oh, we could do have blow, some... which is hoo hoo in protocol. Hoo hoo. Hoo -hoo. I, I, enjoy the, I enjoy the sound of that. It sounds like a, an owl. Well, it could be a, it could be a tree bent over or something, or a plant that's angled. Or it could be a gust of wind. But how do you draw a gust of wind? Uh, we'll find a way. In my opinion, a gust of wind is basically something that you hypothesize exists when you see trees and the like going, you know, off to the side. Mm. Maj says three horizontal lines might work for a gust of wind. Because we've already established this, this, um, oh, I don't know what you want to call it, but this idea of action lines being used in the script with Baur. So maybe... wind what do you guys think i'm running a room oh no i really like the idea of a bent palm tree a bent palm tree mm -hmm. um yeah the, in the chat mm -hmm. the chat's with me the chat's with me oh are well, they now okay well okay <laughs> at least one person so i can uh, i can claim that it's the will of the people Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's terrible. Uh... Or maybe you could just do three yeah. bent lines that represent palm trees. Mm. I like maybe it's sort of combining the three lines and the palm trees idea. Queen's Queen's typing kanji, which is throwing me off. Please don't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, let, let, let's not do that. Um, okay, the palm tree wind always blows left. The diagonal, diagonal lines with a line through their top to signify the canopy. You mean like this? No, that looks a bit. Hmm. One, 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 but angled. I mean, that does work. Mm hmm. Actually, kind of like that. Yeah. So it it is simple. And that way we'll have a, a diversity of, of shapes for the for the script. Yeah. I like simple though. I know we can go complicated if we need it, but Yeah, let's do, do the enjoy. three diagonal lines and then we'll we'll put in a cut so that people can have a, a break, including you. Oh, including me. Thank you. Okay, so this one. Uh how do you what's the word? Oh, the word is hoo hoo. H U or H U H U. Oh, um, Marina, I am using Photoshop. Colin's just zoomed right in, so you can't see any of the UI. I like that. That's cute. Very nice. All right. Well, I think we've got good a good start. We've got eight uh, graphemes here. Um, we've got a good. Uh, a decent amount of, of uh, coverage in the phonology and we will come back and we will do more. But until then, let's go over to the full screen and wish uh, our, our friends at YouTube a happy day. And thank you all so much for, for making this possible, this 2000 subscriber special. Um, it's really all because of you that this happened. So thank you very much. Lucy, anything to say to the people of YouTube? Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Come back soon. <laughs> Come back soon. We will see you next time. Oh, I'm supposed to say like and subscribe, right? That's the other thing? Yeah, yeah. Please do that. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone.